We are in the community of Charo, a cashew growing area in Benin. The African Cashew Initiative supported farmers in conducting a field experiment on good agricultural practices. The majority of African cashew farmers experience low productivity as a result of bad farm management. Good agricultural practices help. As part of the experiment, one part of the land was cultivated using good agricultural practices, such as thinning, pruning, weeding and intercropping, while the other part of the land was cultivated using traditional farming practices. The application of good agricultural practices led to a yield three times higher in comparison to the untreated land. 8 kg per tree on the untreated plot and up to 25 kg on treated plots. We have obtained this parcel in the past two years at 22-25 kg per tree on the The farmers collectively hire a professional chainsaw operator to cut down the trees. In a first step, the cashew farmers determine those trees that are unproductive and diseased by marking the stem. This technique is called thinning. Thinning is also important to ensure the appropriate spacing in between cashew trees because overcrowded plantations decrease yields significantly. The work with a chainsaw is dangerous and shall only be executed by trained personnel. The farmers join hands and remove the smaller branches with the help of machetes. All access wood is collected and gathered on piles. The wood can later be used for construction, charcoal, and firewood. Some farmers may decide to sell the firewood, thereby creating an additional source of income that can be used when households face difficulties in their cash flow. The extension officer explains how thinning leads to increased sunlight and air circulation, thereby improving overall yields and health of existing trees. Another important farming technique is pruning. Pruning of the cashew trees is an essential step to lift the canopy of the ground and promote the development of a well-structured tree. The extension officer teaches the farmers that, in the case of mature trees, Pruning is done to avoid overcrowding and to eliminate weak or dead branches infested with pests or diseases. The chainsaw operator removes the selected branches. ACI's first project phase resulted in a total of 260,000 farmers trained in good agricultural practices. Following farmers training, the adoption of these practices increased productivity from 21 up to 78 percent in Ghana, Benin, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, and Mozambique. To avoid the spread of diseases, weeds have to be controlled between the tree lines. This can increase yields, facilitate harvesting, and avoid the occurrence of bushfires. Another important farming technique is intercropping. Crops such as soya, maize, and granite can be planted as these crops do not damage the nearby cashew trees and also increase soil fertility. Intercropping provides an additional source of income for the farmers as well as food self-sufficiency. The application of good agricultural practices has the potential to increase yields significantly and improves farmer livelihoods in rural areas. <laughs>